Well, at times with Newcastle United, it feels like we're not really living in the same season where Newcastle beat PSG so convincingly here, hammered um, Sheffield United away 8-0 and beat the likes of Chelsea and Manchester United here. Especially when you look at what happened there today. It was an unbelievable um, collapse from Newcastle. That's, that's what the way I would look at it because they've given themselves a platform to go on and win the game. Isaac stepping up uh, from the spot to put Newcastle in control today. But, you know, after that, um, wasted opportunities, a lack of conviction, and then really, you know, the defensive side of it was uh, was pretty poor from Newcastle. You know, Chris Wood, a player they know very well, they know what he's all about, and he was able to, to get in so many times, um, makes it 1-1 before the break, and then, you know, after the break, when you were hoping Newcastle would, you know, hit back and respond, um, they left themselves wide open. I think if you have a look at the replays of Wood's first goal, there's, there's no one anywhere near him, and Dan Burns, the closest guy, who's had to go across the other side of the pitch uh, to try and close him down. And Wood just finished it, you know, like Alan Shearer in his prime. And then, you know, for the third goal, Newcastle again, wide open. Again, piling too many bodies forward, again over committing and really 3-1 uh, for Nottingham Forest at that point um, was no more than they deserved because they exposed Newcastle for what was in front of them. And then after that, you know, Forest really were showboat and this is a team that have only won one game um, in about seven matches before this and Newcastle just couldn't live with them. They were back heeling it, um, they were popping it around. You know, it was like an exhibition game at times. Newcastle did rally towards the end. Uh, Isak and Gordon almost having chances to, to pull a goal back. But in the end, Forrest, you have to say, were the worthy winners of this game. And Newcastle really, um, you know, not only made them look good, but made themselves look uh, particularly poor, given, as I say at the start of this video, the PSG game, uh, the Manchester United game, all these you know, occasions and examples where we've seen everything good about Newcastle um, just doesn't seem to be clicking for them right now. Where does this leave Newcastle overall? Well, the transfer window is around the corner. We just spoke to Eddie Howe in there. He didn't want to say that the answers lie in the transfer market. Newcastle have had £400 million to spend. They must um, play to their strengths um, in that score. But overall, really... Are Newcastle United going to be able to get over the line this season and finish in a good position with the squad they've got? They should be able to do it, but it just seems to be missing at the minute. They're not clicking. Uh, they head to Liverpool next, which is always a, a horrible away day for, for Newcastle fans in terms of the scoreline because they've been beaten there so many times. It's going to be tough. And then it's Sunderland in the Cup, and you know there's no, there's no room for mistakes in that game either. So overall, Newcastle today, well beaten. But you just wonder how Eddie Howe turns this around now. Um, there's plenty of the season left to do it, but today was it was worrying. It was a concerning defeat. I hope that they could do something good today in the final game of 2023. But overall, Newcastle beaten here 3-1 by Nottingham Forest. And again, there's more questions than answers.